Hi, Chef K here. We're continuing our study on hospitality. This week, we're talking about hospitality commands the go. You know, you can't do proper hospitality unless you pick yourself up and go. Many, many, many people have missed the miracle that they've been seeking because someone didn't listen to the go. If you look at uh, Matthew 4 and 5, or rather Mark 4 and 5, this is a story of Jesus ministering faith and how faith is so important. And he ministered all day to the crowds, ministered health and healing to the crowds. When he was done, he said to the disciples, let's go to the other side of the lake. There was one person there, only one he wanted to talk to. That was the demoniac of Gadara. Here's a man filled with 6,000, five to 6,000 demons. And Jesus is setting out to heal that person. Remember, hospitality says is defined as the love of the stranger. And if you can go and meet with the stranger and touch them, so that their life is changed. That's what hospitality does. Many people think hospitality, oh, that's the restaurant business. Well, look at the restaurant business. You have a, a hostess who greets you, have a table, a server, they bring you a meal, beverages, dessert, give you everything you want, it's all perfect. Give you a bill, you give a nice tip because it's been great. And you leave, and you leave with a friendly note. In all that, there was only one event, of that, part of that, that was actually hospitality. The rest of it was all service. That one part of hospitality was the tip you left. So, when we see in Mark 5, Jesus touching the demonic, uh, demoniac of Gadara, it's a tongue twister, you'll find so much is in there all dealing with hospitality. So I encourage you, go to chefk.com, check out what we had to write this week on hospitality, and next week we'll be talking about hospitality and compliance. You have to comply. Resistance is futile. We all know that one. Anyway, hospitality is the thing that will set people free if applied properly. So until next time, this is Chef K. Remember, Psalms 118 verse 6 says, God is on your side.